Hey everyone, I'm going to do a really quick, oh, is that better? That's probably better. Um, I'm probably going to do a really quick video on some facial cleansers that I have here, makeup removers and stuff. And the reason I'm doing this one is because I'm not one to ever use, you know, <laughs> face washes and makeup removers, etc. And so the stuff that I have, I thought it'd be pretty interesting to share with you guys. Just trying to get my camera set up selfie stick because I need both my hands. <laughs> all right. So first of all, let's start with the very worst one. <clears throat> this should have been a good one. It's this Marinus, which I quite like them. It turns out from the makeup that I have of them, I really like this brand a lot. And I, I didn't have any experience with them beforehand, but now they're one of my favorites. However, this Fast Fix Solutions Black Light Peel Off Mask. I love peel off masks. Facial scrubs are all right. I like using them together, but peel off masks I've always been partial to. I guess that goes back to when I was a little girl peeling glue off my hands. But this stuff is really hard to use. Really, really, really hard. And I don't see any difference whatsoever. It says in the back, uh, if your problem's dark, spotty, or dull, uneven skin that needs brightening, you peel this away, it brightens and extracts, leaves skin even toned and glowing. So when you open it, it's just really gummy. You can see it just, it's this gummy, gummy looking stuff. And it's pretty hard to squeeze out. And when you do, you're left with this black paste here. And uh, it had already dried up. I know a lot of it's dried in here. I can feel how full it is and I've used it. It's not full, it's air and it won't budge because it's dried inside the tube but you get this paste here and it doesn't apply evenly so you can see you spread it just a little bit and it just leaves you got to dab it on and even then when you dab it and you redab it you're left with blank patches so you have to use quite a bit to get an actual even coverage and when it peels off you don't really feel it pulling away it doesn't feel like it does anything I'm really not happy with that but I use it because I'm stubborn <laughs> Next, I have this uh, makeup remover, um, Satin Milk Pure Radiance Cleanser. And it's from this brand that I hate trying to pronounce. But uh, their stuff, from what I've seen, is very high priced, but actually it doesn't impress me. It doesn't knock my socks off, considering the price. Um... This came with no box, no instructions, so I don't actually know if you're supposed to wash your face with it or if you're supposed to wipe and put it on like a cream and wipe it off. It's just a little, it's a, it's a cream. It's very similar to another one I have, so I would imagine you just put it on and you wipe it off. Um, it smells nice, but there's, again, there's nothing spectacular about it I just don't see anything satin milk cleanser you think a cleanser really you need soap and water but it doesn't tell you what to do and I've tried it both ways and both ways it's subpar so again that's something else I can't really say that I love then there's this Dr. Jart pore medic pore minish bubble foam clogged pores and steven control deep cleansing foam clear clogged pores with fine bubble Sebum control with Evermat and Dynalift, exfoliating and pore minimizing. This sounds amazing. It's all right. I've used it a few times, and uh, I don't really see any pore minimizing, though. Not at all with this stuff. Um, I use it whenever I'm in the shower, so it's not like I've used it once and said, Oh my god, it's not working. I use it every time I'm in the shower. And uh, I focus on my nose because my nose is the only place I've really got really big pores. And um, all that I've noticed is that my pores are even more clogged up now. Uh, since I've started using all this stuff, my skin's doing worse in some ways. Um, but uh, yeah, it just says apply a proper amount and foam with water, then gently massage into skin and wash off with warm water. I know when you put this on, it's this really pretty kind of pearlescent color, if you can see that. And you put it on, it glides on your skin, you put water on, it foams up, it's really soft. Like you can, the, the, the cream is really, really soft. And then it just 
turns into like a kind of fine, fine foam, I guess if you could call it foam. And then it, it takes a while to wash off. It's all really soft, makes your skin feel really soft. But um, I don't see any any of this for sure. Next, I have this foamingly clean facial wash from Benefit. And it just says one step gentle facial wash. So, you know, has this little cute little cork kind of um, lid to it. And I don't see anything special with this. This is just kind of like your everyday supermarket cleanser is what I kind of use it as. I, this doesn't do anything. It just, it's very similar to the poor medic. You just put it on, foam it up, wipe it off. It's not really a big deal. Um, next I have these. These are kind of, I had to try. These are pretty cool looking. It says poor triple action cleansing stick, poor ritual. And it's supposed to be a three in one. It's a balm, it's an oil, it's a foam. And this is a lip and eye makeup clear foam. So this is charcoal, this is green tea. And it just says what it does is, um, well, uh, what you, what you do is you open the cap. It's probably going to look ugly because I use it to take my makeup off. Well, that's the green tea. So it's actually got like chunks of green tea in it. You, of course, raise it up. You wipe it all over your face. And then you get it down all the way. Nope. You got to get it down quite a bit for the lid to fit on, which is the only bad thing because the lid here is not very deep. So you... You put it on, you massage it into dry skin to remove your makeup. So it's a makeup remover there. Then you clean your face by adding a few drops of water and you, that creates a foam and then you rinse it off. And um, this is hard for me to use. This is the charcoal one. It's hard for me to use because I've got so many piercings on my face. So I can't actually just rub the stick all over my face. I've got to rub it in parts of my face and then use my fingers to massage it into the rest of my face. It does it does glide on and then it does kind of turn into a bubble. Not a bubble, but it turns into a cleanser when it's wet. It does not foam up, I tell you that much. Um, and it's really hard to wash off. It has a really greasy feel to it when it's done. So I, I can't say I like that either. There are things I do like. I'm saving them for last, obviously. <laughs> um, next, I've got this makeup remover, Sephora. This is Soothing Cleansing Milk for Face and Eyes with Macadamia Oil. So this is a... You don't, um, use, so, you don't use water with this. This is the one that reminds me of this one. Because it's got the same consistency, the same look to it. But this one actually has instructions on it. So this one... You just apply it to your cotton pad to cleanse the face and eyes. You don't use soap, from what I know, you don't use soap or water. No, soap, sorry. You don't use water. You just squirt it onto a pad and wipe it all over your face. So I do use this to take my makeup off, and it does work. Uh, it doesn't work so great on eyebrows and waterproof eyeliner, but it does take your makeup off. It's probably my my least favorite of the two makeup removers I have or three makeup removers I have, but it does work. And it doesn't leave your skin feeling anything but soft. Next, I have got my second favorite makeup remover, which is this stuff. This is Erno Laszlo, New York, multi-phase makeup remover. So it comes and it looks like, I don't know if you can see, because I've moved it around, but usually it's, it's one of those that's split, where it's a different color liquid on bottom and different color on top so you have to shake it up before you use it and it's just a normal it's a shake to mix then saturate a cotton ball with remover sweep over the face then across the eyelids moving from inner corners to outwards you shake it up and it just does what it says this is really good stuff you put it on and it takes away most of your makeup I really really like this stuff it's not the best I've got the best one next to me but it is really good. It is better than that one, but not by a huge amount. My favorite, favorite, favorite makeup remover is this, First Aid Beauty. I got this jar of uh, 60 pads, and they're just like the, do you remember the old Noxzema pads? I don't know if they still sell them like that, but as you can see, I, I use these. <laughs> um, it's got no smell to it. 
nothing strong, but they are strong. They are saturated. They're not just a little bit wet. They are saturated, but there's no liquid, you know, dripping around in the, in the container. Uh, you put this on, this takes off everything. And then being on a pad like that, you can see it. This stuff is amazing. I would just keep using this over and over and over again. Um, it says helps exfoliate, tone, and brighten, alcohol-free, safe for sensitive skin. And um, there's really nothing to it. You just wipe the pad across your face, neck, once or twice after cleaning. I mean, it's really very simple, but it works. This works great. I love this stuff. This company is really good. Um, let's see here. So then I've got these two cleaners as well, which I also really like. And these are the same company as with the pore sticks, but these work better. One of these came with this little scoop, which I've never used. I'm not sure which one came with it, but um, I don't use it. I don't know. <laughs> I thought these were really interesting though. This one here is uh, a bubble pack, so this foams up. This is a steam pack, so this gets hot. So this one here, the bubble pack, you put it on, says uh, clean your face, apply toner to correct skin texture. I don't have toner, so I don't do that. <clears throat> um, sorry. Apply a grape-sized grape, grape -sized amount onto the entire face and massage gently. Once the bubbles are formed, massage once more, rinse clean with lukewarm water. Massage two to three more times for additional pore cleansing and lifting benefits. I don't know about all that, but I do know this stuff does foam up. You put it on your face and it feels like little ants crawling all over your skin. You can actually feel this foaming really well. So this, this does work. This is my favorite cleanser. This is what that looks like. It's pretty, pretty gross looking. Uh, it's kind of a shimmery gray. There's a lot of moisture in my bathroom, so some of this has started to to um, foam up, which is what that was. But you don't need very much of it, and it foams so cool, and it feels so great. When I first got here, um, Josh and I were in the shower, and I actually said, stop, I'm going to put this stuff on your face, and he let me, and he's like, oh, that just feels weird. Um, next is this one, the Steam Pack. So this is pretty cool because it gets hot as it's on your face. And this just says, heats, exfoliates, and gets rid of impurities. Apply a small amount, about three grams, evenly to clean dry face. Massage, massage gently for one to two minutes. Leave on to five for five to 10 minutes. Rinse with cold water. Use on entire face or targeted areas. Contains naturally buffing grains, avoid eye area. I hate stuff that you have to leave that you have to leave on, but I do like this stuff. It does heat up. When it changes like that, it, it feels like it's really working. It looks similar to the other one. I'm not sure which one of these I like more. I kind of like them both equally. They make my face feel like something's been done to it and they're really clean afterwards. Um my last cleaner, I've got two more things here. My last cleaner, it comes with this little sponge. It's from the same one of my favorite makeup remover. This is Facial Radiance Intensive Peel. And I haven't used this. I just used my fingers to put it on. I, I don't really find these things necessary. But um, this, this stuff burns. It hurts so much. It really does. I didn't think it would because my skin is not very sensitive. But oh my god. This stuff feels like you've got acid thrown on your skin, but boy, does it work. Um, it says a patch test is recommended for those with sensitivity. Sunburn alert. This product contains alpha hydroxy acids that may increase your sun's sensitivity to the sun and particularly the possibility of sunburn. Use a sunscreen, wear protective clothing, and limit sun exposure while using this product and for a week afterwards. And, uh, and for a week. It says apply liberally to clean dry skin. Leave on one to five minutes as tolerated. It's Josh texting me. Um, so that's pretty. Oh my God. Sorry guys. Sorry about that. Josh was, <clears throat> sorry. Uh. <coughs> oh, sorry. Uh, Josh was texting me. Um, but anyway, so that's pretty, that's pretty good that it, 
it works that well, but it says leave on one to five minutes is tolerated. And I was thinking, yeah, I could leave it on all day. It probably wouldn't bother me. Trust me, leaving it on five minutes is a struggle. This is what it looks like inside. It's just like a pale green color. I don't feel anything exfoliating, but you can smell the chemicals in it. And um, boy, <laughs> it dries like a clay mask and it burns so much. But I tell you, your skin feels really good afterwards. It even makes my skin red and nothing makes my skin red. Love this stuff. Oh my God, are you still texting me? Okay, um, lastly, I actually had to look this up because I don't have the box for it. I was like, what is this stuff? It's 3CE White Milk Cream. And this is just kind of like a facial cream, uh, cream that you put on after you've washed your face and stuff. It has absolutely nothing on it. Nothing at all. That was the sticker. And uh, this is written in a different language. And I remember that the box was shaped like a milk carton, though. And I remember this cream is made with milk. And so I looked it up and it's a brightening, smoothing cream. And this stuff actually works. It, it pore minimizes, it brightens, and it evens out your skin. So after I use this and my skin is bright red, I use this and it takes away all of the redness. And it, it kind of lightens your skin as well. I don't really need a lightener because I'm always indoors. So my skin is really, really white considering. Um... So white that, as you know, trolls and people have debated over how can I be Asian when my skin is so white? Do I do skin bleaching or photoshopping, blah, blah, blah? It's called staying out of the sun for 10 years. It kind of tends to do that. You get pasty white. I'm unhealthy white. I'm not like, oh, I'm a white girl. I'm, fuck, you know, she's been locked in a cave for 10 years, kind of white. So I'll put on, you probably won't see any difference because it's not on my face. It's just on my hand, but it's a really creamy nice formula it's really smooth you put it on and it's actually not sheer it does cover your skin so it's almost like a little foundation so you can see you've got half here and half here and it's whitened it's whitened this part of my skin and uh it just smooths and it feels so nice it's got I'd say it's got a little shimmer to it, but not really. It's not shimmery. There's no glitter in it, but it just, it's dewy is what it is. But you can see that it's, you can see it especially there. It's, uh, it's on this side, which is pretty cool for a whitening cream to actually whiten that much in front of your face. So you can imagine what it does to your skin. It makes your skin really nice. So this is my favorite product. I, I use it sparingly because... Um, I got all this stuff when I was in New Zealand uh, to bring over here and I scrimped and I scrounged and I busted my ass to get this stuff plus my suitcase full of makeup and once I run out of all this there's no way in hell I'll be able to get it again so everything I just kind of used sparingly and I just wanted to share it with you while I had it so um, have you guys tried any of this stuff? Do you know anything about this? I, I should probably just stop being lazy and look it up because I could easily figure out how to use it if I just take it to the computer and look it up. But what can I say? I'm lazy. But uh, if you guys have tried this, what do you think? Did it hurt you <laughs> like it hurt me? I'm Man, I've got to get Josh to let me put this on his whole face. He let me put it on like a little portion of his cheek, but it wasn't the same. I want to know if he thinks the same thing that I do, so... I'm trying to get him to let me put this on. Um, but if you have not tried it and you get a chance to get it, I would highly suggest this and the makeup wipes are really, really good. And uh, I guess that's it for now. I'll see you guys next video. Um, take care. And I hope this was somewhat informative, not too boring. All right. Bye.